my name is Clement. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Wezu. My two co-founders are Dominique, she's there in the room, and Michael, who's stayed in Paris, where we are located. So thank you for having us this year for the faster than real time theme. That's what we do at Wezu. We also uh, are a Solomo company. That was the theme in 2011. But do you remember what the theme was in 2010 for those who were here? It was supposed to be a platform, but it was not. That was the real theme. You remember? You were here, no? The snow. So everybody was talking about whether that was the real theme of the 2010, 2010 web, Le Web Edition. Everybody was talking about it. It really became social, and they, they were talk about it on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, on blogs after the, the conference, even on Foursquare. Everybody was sharing live uh, in real time pictures on TweetPeak, on Flickr, on Lockers, on Wirefrog, even on Instagram, even though it was only one or two months old in that time. So the real theme was weather, social, and real time. And the good thing is that's what we do. Real, weather plus social plus real time. At Wezu, Wezu is weather by you. That means we are a social and real time weather service. Social because you tell the weather where you are. In a way, you check the weather. You look at the sky and you, you tell the weather that you observe live. And real time because we display what you've Tell what you've told us live on maps. Plus, we aggregate content coming from open data and coming from social media analysis. We catch this data, we analyze it, we uh, display it on the same map as we do with social uh, information. Information. So let's go to the to the demo, to the beta version of the web, the, the iPhone app. This is the central tab. You have 12 different icons with 12 different color codes corresponding to 12 uh, weather types. So you click the one corresponding to the weather you observe. For example, today in sunny London, so you click fair. You are geolocated. You can add instantly a picture from this very building. You can add also a comment, share it on Facebook and Twitter, and you post your observation. It appears live on a map. Of course, uh, we have developed a global service, so you can have access to different places. I've bookmarked several places. Sherry, I think you've studied in uh, British Columbia, so I bookmarked Vancouver, Seattle. You can see that it's sunny in Vancouver today and cloudy and rainy in Seattle. So you can browse maps all around, all around the world watching and discovering live observation, and you can also browse what we've called activity, and you can broadcast all the posts that have been done with, photo, with photos. This is my post. This is a post from friends with overcast sky, etc. So you can browse very great pictures taken from people from our audience all around the world. And if I go back to the to the presentation, um, insist on two things. So we are global. I'll get back to this if you want in the Q and A. Uh, we are on every screen, and our market, of course, is really big since uh, we, have, we are used to say that we can address anyone with a connection and a sky. Uh, that's m a lot of people, but of course, we have a core target that are, m that are mobile social media users. It's also a big target. And our business models, a quick look of what it is, because we have two streams. First is a B2B offer. I can detail it later, but basically it's a free, uh, no, not free, but a, a, a white-labeled widget that we can offer to local media or community websites that displays our content, that offers interactivity to their audience, and that uh, gives them traffic back. The other stream for our business is uh, advertising. Of course, we can address global brands, but with two specificities. Local targeting, since we know where the people are when they check the weather, and um, with also weather marketing, because a lot of activities are impact have an impact uh, regarding uh, weather conditions, be it in transportation, uh, leisure activities, um, outdoor activities, or food. So, as a summary, I would say that so we are social, we are real time, but more than everything, we are telling the truth because the weather is weather by you. And to illustrate that we do observation and not forecast, a quick video that shows that forecast makers are sometimes wrong. The skies are clear this morning on our beautiful peninsula, with only a few stray clouds inviting themselves on the east coast. But on the whole, the morning will be pleasant. 
That's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. With you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, start with you again. Well, I'm, I'm uh, maybe not representative of the, uh, the population. I'm a big weather fan. So, <laughs> so maybe I should come out of the closet here. I, I actually do subscribe to all kinds of different weather services. Um, I pay for it. I compare that, you know, at least five times a day. Granted, at some point I was flying, so, you know, that, that came through that. But now, today, there's no other reason for me to look at it than I really enjoy the weather. I mean, looking at the weather forecast and stuff. So maybe there are other people like me. So for me, that's pretty cool. W one thing I would, um, I would ask is, um, really, uh, apart from some weirdos like me, who's going to be paying for this type of information? Well, um, or are there many weirdos like no, me? No, the service is free. The, yeah. the website, you can go on it, wazoo.com, and the uh, iPhone and iPod app is free. Um, those who will pay are B2B editors, like I mentioned, local website, for example, because they, because they can embed on their website a white label widget that displays content, interactivity for their audience and traffic, so they, won't, they can pay for that because they get their, mon their money back. But the users, everybody, uh, B2C is free for, for every consumer. So, so one question, would it be interesting for people to kind of, you know, take bets and all things on, on forecast? So I am, you know, betting that, you know, given the color of the sky in, uh, or the, the clouds or whatever, in six hours it's going to be raining and people will take my bet. And is that a good idea or a bad idea? To have bettings around yeah. weather? Yeah, that, that's one of our things we are working on because, um, of course, weather is incredibly viral. You can discuss it with anyone and people always say, I know best what's the weather going to be like in three hours. So you can bet. With, uh, we can bet together, say, okay, in three hours it's going to be rainy. I say, no, it's going to be sunny. And we can counter check in three hours with the app because we will counter, well, counter, uh, we'll check again in three hours and you and I will win. But uh, if you're a big fan, I don't know if I'll, I'll challenge you. Let's do that. Okay. Sherry. Hello. Um, I don't subscribe to any weather services. Okay. <laughs> so I'm definitely not like Eric. Um, I can understand the utility of a forecast and why you'd pay for a forecast. Yeah. Okay. I can't understand how, how you make the business model work on, on, on this. Um, so maybe you can explain how, you know, if, yeah. it's, if it's free, yeah. how, you, how you really make money. Okay. Um, and again, the utility of a forecast I can absolutely see for, you know, if I'm going to go to New York, I want to know what the forecast is, so what yeah. you're going to wear. Or, you know, what, and if I were a hedge fund, I'd want to know what it was so I could forecast what, you know, commodity price was. That I understand, but I don't understand. Yeah. I don't get yeah, the, okay. the model part. So the business model, of course, not the B2B part, but the, um, the advertising part is linked to audience. And we strongly believe that uh, this theme, whether is uh, really one of the, the, mo the most used and one of the, um, the most uh, in which applications are the most uh, downloaded. And um, specifically on what we do is, is live weather. So why, what's interesting, in fact, your question, what's interesting in knowing the weather live? So of course, here, there's no interest for you and me to know what's the weather like, except that we don't have a window, so maybe it's, it's raining and you don't know that. But of course, in citrus, in, the app is interesting in, in, two, in two, um, two things. First, people love to talk about it, so they can express themselves on the app and publishing great pictures and giving information to their audiences. So the first is to give the information. Second one is have the information because maybe you have family uh, in the West Coast, so you, well, we can do the demo live. You know right now what's the weather like in San Francisco or um, I'm from Paris, I see that the weather is gray in Paris. My, my kids are in, uh, in vacation in, in the Alps. I know that it's snowing right now, so you can instantly know what, what's the weather like where they are. And before you were calling the people and, and the first question is what's the weather like at your place? No, that, that's the opposite. You know the weather, you, you, see, you call them and you say, I see that you, it's snowing where you are. So we've reversed these, uh, the user age of live weather. Andrew. I've got two questions. I'm a weather geek too, Eric, so you and me together. I think we're the two audience. Um, two, how many users have you got right now? When did you launch? You know, wh yeah. Where are you right now? We've just launched for the web, so the, the, the version is a, uh, is a beta version, so thank you for the feedback if you can test it and download it. We already have uh, several thousand users in uh, less than 10 days. 
people are really using the app, coming back several times a day, publishing photos. So and it's a good, very good start for us. I agree 100% with you, Sherry. The real value of most weather applications is the prediction. So it strikes me yeah. that you have the facility, if you've got enough users, and especially if you can get enough users to give you a little bit more information yeah. just than they are giving you, like if they can give you pressure information or other sorts of information, yeah. you'd have a really valuable forecasting tool. Have you thought about that? I don't, two things. Um, we aggregate content coming from the community. That's what we call weather with weather by you. But we also aggregate content coming from open data and social media analysis. So that's a, a big volume of, of data. So we already have content from almost every place, every country in the world. And um, what was your second question? Sorry. So could you turn this into... Ah, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah, and of course we are working on aggregating this content. We have aggregated more than 80 million live observation in the last few months. So we are um, uh, keeping all this information and when we get enough, we'll work on short, uh, short time forecast um, information. If, uh, for example, if I see that it's... Um, it's uh, raining in the, in the West London, and 10 minutes after it's raining in the central London, I may have mathematics and um, forecast systems that tells me it's going to rain in five minutes in East London. So short time, we are live information, but we can work on short time uh, forecast, not long time forecast. Uh, tell, tell us about your team. I think I yeah? missed the part about the team. Yeah, so I mentioned them Very briefly. really quickly because... Yeah. Uh, um, so um, there are two engineers. Um, uh, they are from one of the top uh, school in Europe in terms of engineer. It's a central school uh, in Paris. Um, one, uh, Dominique was there. She's the CTO. She worked basically on the uh, back office part, and Michael in Paris worked in the front office. Mainly that's the, 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 the way they work. Uh, Michael is a young uh, entrepreneur, just gradu graduated from school. And Dominique, she's a graduated from the same school, and she has an experience as a, an entrepreneur too. She launched his own company and several services, uh, softwares and uh, website and, um, and awesome. uh, apps. Great. Well, thank you very much. So that was Wazoo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.